Alright, so boom, I ain't done one of these in quite some time, but god damn it, I got something to say. First and foremost, I done traveled down here to Houston, Texas, because I'm collaborating with the In The Clutch ENT channel for this entire SummerSlam weekend. So we're going to have an in-house, in-studio reaction live stream for SmackDown, SummerSlam, and Raw. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you tune in later this evening and the following dates throughout the entire weekend. But flying down here, went over to the airport, and you already know I got a couple of problems. First and foremost, TSA. What's wrong with y'all employees? Let me tell you something. I ain't tell you to get this job. All right. I recognize it may not be a walk in a park. It may not be the happiest location to be. But do you got to be upset at all hours of the day? It's 6 a.m. You screaming at the height of your voice, telling people to take off their belts, take off their shoes. You can't say that in a calm manner, especially because you got individuals who just so happen to be walking around the line to inform people that they got to take their shoes off, take out their electronics, whatever the case just so happen to be. But do you got to scream in people's ears? It's getting ridiculous. I'm standing in line waiting to get to where I gotta put my suitcase on the goddamn, you know, uh, uh, the scanning joint. And for whatever reason, you scream, take off your belt, take off your shoes, take out your electronics, one laptop per back. What you screaming for? You in my ear, we ain't children. The fuck wrong with y'all? Man, there you go with that bullshit. Then to make matters worse, before we even make it to TSA, this for the individuals who just so happen to go and get their ID scanned, their board and pass scanned. Is there any reason why you wait until the last moment to do so? Fucking retard. You was in line for 20 minutes. You get to the front. Now you patting your goddamn pockets. You searching deep into your bag to try to identify where you left your ID, where your board and pass, your passport just so happen to be. What is the purpose of waiting that long period of time and not prepare Preparing when you get there. And now, piece of me is kind of having a bit of cognitive dissonance because perhaps I understand why TSA screaming at the top of their lungs because you done stood in the line for 25 minutes and you decide to take your belt off in front of the scanner. You decide to go take off your goddamn jewelry, all of your electronics out your pocket. You got your phone in your hand, taking a phone call, walking through scanning. I can't believe I'm ringing off, slowing people down. My flight boards in six minutes. Oh, move your dumb ass out the way. It's getting ridiculous. What's the purpose of waiting this long period of time in order to get yourself together to finally go through? Then when we make it to the doggone gate, all of a sudden, nobody know what group they in. They say, oh, we are now supporting Sky Priority, active veterans. Uh, um, we, we also have first class. You and motherfucking Group F. You walk into the front. Oh, I didn't know I could board at this time. They got a screen there, stupid. Fucking bullshit. Don't even get me started in the passenger drop off, passenger pickup location when you make it to the airport. Motherfuckers having a goddamn family reunion when you're supposed to just drop somebody off. You had all this time in the car to catch up and talk about what it's going to be like where your friend or family member just so happened to travel. But oh no, you want to get in front of the car when people is waiting to go drop people off. You want to stay over there and have a goddamn conversation that last 90 minutes. Move your dumb ass out the location. Then when it's passing the pickup time, all of a sudden all these fucking Ubers, taxis, all these people harassing you. You need a taxi, 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 taxi. No! I got a phone for a reason. I don't call my lift. They can't make it here because you taxi motherfuckers taking up all the location, harassing people. Fuck you, bitch. Now that I think about it, why is all the food and drinks overpriced in the airport? For a fucking slice of pizza is $8. I ought to freaking strangle you with the mozzarella. So it's getting ridiculous. I know I got to throw out my fluids when I arrive at the airport. But do you have to jack up all the prices for any kind of beverage? Because you know there's no other location I can get it. You got about six water fountains in the entirety of the airport. So I know it's very strategic that you just so happen to do this. That's why I always walk in with an empty bottle go find that refill station fill up my goddamn water so i can have something to drink when i'm on the flight and i ain't gotta pay you no motherfucking money but you goddamn got one refill station in a terminal that they refuse to make sure that people even know it even exists you just so happen to pass one by circumstance like oh shit i'm up but if you ain't seen one you about to be parched your entire flight unless of course you want to pay 18 dollars for two bottles of water it's getting ridiculous bruh Shit pisses me off. It's a whole business, and we the motherfuckers getting ass fucked. You got me now. What's wrong with people? 
Shit get me upset. Then when you trying to make it to the goddamn gate, you got families of six spreading out, holding hands like this a motherfucking Us movie. I don't see Jordan Peele nowhere. Why the fuck you spreading your goddamn generations in the fucking pathway? Now I got to stand behind your dumb ass. People getting on that, I don't want to say it's like an escalator, but that thing that moves you forward when you're walking and you can stand on there and it can kind of move you forward instead of walking or whatever the case may be. Move to the side, leave a walkway for people to walk past you. What you spreading out for? Shit ridiculous. People got places to be by flight boards in four minutes. You slowing me down. It's getting ridiculous, bro. It's the same shit that happened when you go to restaurants. We in line for an extended period of time. Or I should say fast food locations. You in line for an extended period of time. You get to the front. Can I get a... You've been staring at the menu for 15 minutes. You still don't know what you want? Shit's ridiculous, bro. I'm tired of going to the airport. Well, what if you just get TSA pre? I have TSA pre. This is bullshit. For what? People get me upset. It's getting ridiculous. Pull up to the airport. It should be incredibly easy to go through and get to where you want to go. Have your information already in hand. Put your goddamn ID behind your phone case. Have nothing else in your goddamn pocket so you can go one, two, three inside. Easily get through. But motherfuckers want to be stupid. You got jewelry in your motherfucking shoes. For what? You wearing every piece of electron. You got the motherfucking USB cord as a chain going through the goddamn scan and wondering why you ringing off. Shit don't make sense. You got every electronic under the sun sitting inside of a motherfucking purse and you try to walk through motherfucking scanning. It's getting ridiculous. I'm tired of stupid people having to go to different particular locations and I just so happen to be in the same vicinity as you and you slowing up my life. It's getting ridiculous. Let me tell you something right now. Next time I go into the goddamn airport, which will be on Tuesday evening, let me tell you something right now. If I try to go through TSA, and for one, I got the agent screaming in my ear. I, for two, I got other individuals trying to go through scanning, and they taking their goddamn sweet time taking off their stuff. Number three, I make it to my goddamn gate, and people don't have their boarding pass ready to get on a goddamn flight, slowing me up. We gonna have problems. I'm gonna call in the enforcer, Chris. Here comes the United States champion, Chris Benoit. You mean to tell me you watched the entire video but you haven't subscribed? Hit the subscribe button and become a member on Patreon or on YouTube to get access to the Discord. We're waiting for you in the Shadow Realm. Just do it! Make your dreams come true! Please! Please! What are you waiting for, huh? Oh my god.